it's enough of Patapons, I need a break. The Patapons save their homeland and the princess. She told the hero that he has the world to save and needs to cross a rainbow bridge to another continent. A mysterious voice is asking to help Patapons, as all the tribe with the hero altogether turned into stone. The next moment a silver star flies out of the big black box, speaking with a mighty god. The star is begging to reincarnate hero by entering his body and become one essence. Mighty god has no choice, as it's pledged to serve Patapons until they reach the earth end. Luckily, hero is revived, taking a shape of a human-looking creature, the uber hero. Unfortunately, after reviving in his body, he forgot everything he knew before, as it usually happens. The star's name is Silver Hushapon, bearer of hope. He explains to Uber Hero that his brothers turned to stones after breaking the seal on the forbidden vessel, releasing a great evil. Uber Hero is still confused as he doesn't understand who he is. Suddenly, he hears a drum. He goes to the sound and turns out it's Hatapon who survived due to his magical banner. He is trying to summon mighty god but nothing seems to work. Silver Hushapon tells that after Hatapon pounds, Uber Hero needs to play additional sound and then they will create a song. Hatapon shockingly realizes that Uber Hero is mighty god himself and agrees to go under his commands. Luckily for the Patapon, Silver Hushapon rescues three heroes. Their names are Ton the Yamipon, Chin the Tatapon and Khan, the Yaripon. He turns them back to the original form. But Miden is still petrified, and Hatapon decides to take her with them to the hideout of the four great Patapon champions of lore. In the cave there is a new Patapon, Sukapon, who is looking for legendary beasts. His notifications open new territories for slaying new creatures. But the question is, who is he? He hasn't been revived, where did he come from? There are other places in the hideout that improve quality of life. However, due to an absence of multiplayer, some of the functions like Paragate for the best loot are closed. And by the way, Miden is not so useless. She sells materials and equipment. I have no idea how she does it, but now I like her. So, as you can see in this part, Silver Hashapon replaces Miden. He is a some kind of wise commander who knows everything and smarter than usual Patapons. He suggests visiting Cave of Valor to find an Archfiend, which was released from the big black box and stop evil there. Because of uber hero powers that reincarnated Patapons, they remember nothing of their past. That's the price of being alive again. Great Amnesia Crusade begins. First, Patapons need to cross territories of the Bone Death tribe, who are ruled by Lord Rage Wolf. Patapons are being faced by big Cyclops, who are talking and dreaming of eating Patapons. But who cares if Cyclops are buried in the sand already? After a fight, Silver Hashapon flies over Uber Hero and talks about Mad Fan Rage Wolf. He is a dark hero whose soul was consumed by wrath and who is controlled by way bigger fish who is hiding in the dark waters. Going further, Patapons reach buildings of Bone Death Brigade and Mad Fan Rage Wolf, who is not a big deal actually. He is looking for a talk. It gets clear that he has been chosen by Archfiends and now he is more powerful than Uber Hero and his Silver Old Star. The thing which Uber Hero didn't know is that Silver Hashapon was also released from the Forbidden Vessel. According to Rage Wolf, Old Star is worse than any Archfiend. While Uber Hero is trying to digest new secrets, Rage Wolf challenges him to fight on the arena of Valor. Uber Hero asks Silver Hashapon about his past, and the star approves that he was trapped with Archfiends, but he is the one who saved the rest of the Patapons. Does it make him a friend? Survived warriors of Patapons don't understand a thing. Who is good or bad? They are warriors after all, not scientists. The Patapons have no choice but continue their journey and listen to Silver Hashapon. Rage Wolf is waiting for Black Meatball Cyclops at the arena of Valor. That place is something like cyber sport multiplayer mode but with NPCs. There you need to push the opposite side back to their base and back them. After humiliating of Rage Wolf, there is a way to the Cave of Valor, where the Patapons will meet the first Archfiend. In dungeons, if Uber Hero dies, he dies and cannot be revived unless you reach the end of the floor. Or used summoning, which is transformed to something chaotic, I still don't understand how to use it properly. Well, dungeons are extremely hard and sometimes impossible to end without grinding, to my big frustration. That makes the game artificially elongated. At the end of each dungeon, there is an archfiend who mumbles mamba jumbo and then dies. 
Actually, it always happens. Nothing special, but these creatures are keys to a big plan. Probably you wonder what those chests on the top right are. After each mission, you get random equipment. Yeah, the Patapon series slowly moved to loot boxes. Thanks, it's free. And let's go back to the plot. Cave of Valor is in the past. In the future, Rage Wolf is coming through snows and I have no idea what happens with him now. There, he meets Naughty Fins, another dark hero who I feel sorry about. Anyway, they team up to stop Uber Hero. Naughty Fins isn't simple at all. Her dialogues are filled with the flirting towards either Rage Wolf or Uber Hero. Out of her speech, it gets clear that both dark heroes remember nothing of their past, as well as Uber Hero. Naughty Fins is going to be waiting in the Circuit of Purity, another dungeon of Archfiend. In the hideout, Uber Hero sees a dream, but due to his dementia, he cannot remember a thing. Silver Hashapon tells that the new dark hero is a maiden, whose soul was consumed by the Archfiend of Purity. I also want to mention that in this game a player has a choice in dialogues. Right answers will lead to a significant outcome, whether a good person of the past be saved or not. The next arena shows a funny interplay between Rage Wolf, Naughty Fins and Uber Hero. Sometimes it even feels as they aren't enemies at all, but friends or puppets that have no idea what they are doing there. Silver Hashapon shares the same feelings about two dark heroes. He also adds that the best rivals are those who could have become friends. Every dungeon is a big challenge, so I'm not going to mention it about every time. Just keep in mind that entering every dungeon kills my brain cells. I need help. On the last level, Archfiend of Purity is binding with a Goliath. Pfft, as if it might help him. So after small fight, they both fall dead. It goes without saying, the more dark heroes Patapons beat, the more new ones are coming. It's only a matter of time to collect them all. To Naughty Fiends and Rage Wolf's help comes Standoffish Sonarchy, a bad man of justice who is wielding long horns and twin horns. Once he used to be a prince of distant lands, and his past is long and fogged for now. Unfortunately, his naughty nature helped Archfiend of Justice to steal his soul. Back in the hideout, Silver Hashapon gives a lesson to the Patapons, explaining who dark heroes are. The Patapons is are too old for that piece of information or lost their brains in battles because they still cannot get anything. Before reaching a new dungeon, the Patapons must face the dark hero of justice in fogged fields. There, they meet a new flying star, Mecha Hashapon, who is hiding a key for a mighty weapon. But for now, he is just a scary little one. Reaching the end of the battle, Uber Hero loses his powers and faints, or at least pretends to faint. Out of the dialogues of dark heroes is discovered Naughty Fins is on the side of Patapons. Nevertheless, cannot do much now. Three dark heroes walk away waiting for Patapons on the next arena. If you think that the Patapons are going in circles reaching battlefields, arenas and then dungeons, you are not mistaken. All of these fill in the whole picture if we consider that Archfiends are the representations of sins and Patapons are walking through circles of hell. Dark heroes are kind enough to explain the rules of a new battle arena, but are not strong enough to win. At their entrance of a new dungeon of hell, two dark heroes are measuring whose nastiness is bigger, while Naughty Fiends can't help but struggling due to losing her powers. She wants to join the Patapon army without even knowing why. You see, once Archfiend is dispelled, any dark hero gets weaker. Hence, they start to act unusually. Other dark heroes are warning her that she will be punished by Archfiends for her misbehavior. Sonarchy can't take it anymore and sets off to summon Sir Rotten Lee Revenus, a living being that once stumbled upon secrets of their civilization. Naughty Fiends has nothing else to do but say goodbye and disappear. And Rage Wolf shouts some dog's breakfast about vengeance to Patapons, but who cares? Silver Hashapon tells a story about ancestors who once banished Archfiends. Three of them were legendary Ban, Gan and Don, who are Patapon Trifecta. And the fourth one was a creature from the other world, aka Kami or God. In other words, the fourth champion was Uber Hero. For Patapons, the Dungeon of Justice is full of vibes of Sean Bean. They live, they die, they live again. Put it simply, it's hard to be Sean Bean. The next Archfiend is sent to the Underworld, or wherever they go. When Patapons finished their battle in the dungeon, Sonarchy reached the next dark hero, Rotten Lee Revenos. He wears a mask of a raven, and as ravens are attracted to hoard shiny objects, Rotten Lee is a manifestation of greed. 
Although Rotten Lee is magnetized by any rare item, he isn't easily manipulated by other dark heroes. Unsuccessful manipulation causes some troubles for Sonarchy because he cannot get his hands on Rotten Lee's secret technology so easily. Thus, he needs another way. Thanks to Rage Wolf, he managed to catch a flying mecha Hashipon, which keeps a key for a secret technology of the Raven. Rotten Lee is being as stubborn as a mule, keeps his secret weapon and mecha Hashipon in a cage. Simply speaking, he refuses to share it with Rage Wolf to finally stop Patapons once and for all. According to Silver Hashapon, Rotten Lee Ravenous was a general once, but his imbalance of priorities made him a target of Archfiends. Four dark heroes are waiting for Patapons in a hiding place which was built by Carmens. Naughty Fiends gave it a look and started to remember something, like she had seen it before, but Sonarchy stopped her thinking process by saying that some things are meant to be forgotten, calling her a princess. Hiding or not, Uber Hero is strong than ever before, nothing can stop him and his army. He steps over a territory of the Estate of Earnestness, where dark heroes challenge him for a fight. Naughty Fiends has a chance to disclose information about a great ancient weapon. She is becoming more and more friendly towards Uber Hero, which creates a mess in the ranks of dark heroes. But what Metal Gear Solid taught me is that you cannot always trust a naughty woman, especially a fishy woman. <laughs> And Silver Hashapon agrees with me. Funny part about conversations with Silver Hashapon is that in the third part of Patapons, the Patapon army finally has a chance to put their two cents in the talks, saying ridiculous nonsense, causing Hashapon and Hatapon decrease their IQ. After achieving victory in the arena, Patapons enter the dungeon, which looks like an old shack from Resident Evil 7. Meanwhile, inside of the building, Rotten Lee found Mecha Hashapon missing. After seeing standoffish Sonarchy, he attacks him but misses. Sonarchy convinces Sir Ravenous that everything goes according to plan. Rotten Lee distrusts Sonarchy and leaves the place. Sonarchy takes out of his pockets Mecha Hashapon, saying that nothing bad will happen to the star. They will just take him to Dark Hideout and use ancient technology to look inside of the Mecha Hashapon in search of a secret key. At this moment Rage Wolf turns up and asks standoffish Sonarchy to let him use a mighty weapon to revenge on Patapons. Sonarchy agrees. Even other dark hero Buzzgrave agrees. Behind the doors, Naughty Fiends overheard everything other dark heroes had said and decided to tell about it to Uber Hero. Maybe she isn't bad after all. After a few days of suffering, Patapons managed to banish the Archfiend of Earnestness, making Rotten Leaf Ravenous weaker. Some changes are going to happen with the Raven. Going out of the mansion and after crossing the desert, Naughty Fiends catches up with Uber Hero, warning him about the ancient weapon which must be destroyed. Saying this, Naughty Fiends starts to lose her life force. Another dark hero, Glottonos Buzzgrave, finds a missing girl, promising to punish her for denying Archfiends. Rage Wolf appears immediately behind Buzzgrave grave and indicates that Naughty Fiends has a fever, helping her to stand up. Nevertheless, Rage Wolf claims about taking care of Naughty Fiends, saying Uber Hero, go home. Dark heroes deliver Naughty Fiends to the dark hideout and then go back to the labyrinth of restraint, the next dungeon. There, Buzz Grave asks Rotten Lee and Rage Wolf who would ride an ancient weapon. Rotten Lee has no sense of what's happening, while Rage Wolf angrily says Buzz Grave to stop this conversation now. Rotten Lee jumps back, denying the fact that they have had some plans behind his back. Damn, I need to change the job. A second later, Sonarchy appears from the air, throwing his precious Mecha Star, but this time it's broken, which means that Dark Heroes have found a key for the ancient weapon. And the key is heap of junk. Yep, that's the password. Rotten Lee falls on his knees, trying to bring Mecha Star together, but has no luck. Buzzgrave offers Rage Wolf to control Org, the ancient weapon. And of course, Rage Wolf agrees. While Patapons are realizing that actually they were Cyclops all this time, and now they are fighting against their big brothers, Rotten Lee feels down and hiding his tears in rain like a real warrior, trying to fix his flying star. His head starts to ache, causing the loss of consciousness. He sees a dream. There, he is still Lord Gunn. There, he stumbles upon the Archfiend of Earnestness, who tells Gunn how unfair it is that Hero gained unbelievable powers with a new mask. And Gunn also deserves it. And yes, he can leave it on the ground. But what if somebody very greedy will find this mask and puts it on? The world will be doomed. And of course, Lord Gunn can discard the mask anytime he wants, as 
before. He gives up and puts a mask on, erasing his memories and gaining new powers instead. He turns into rotten Leo Ravenous. Silver Hashapon feels that dark heroes are restoring their memories, having no explanation for that. It gets clear that Naughty Fiends has recovered her memories, makes Patapons worry about her as they haven't seen her for a while. In the Labyrinth of Restraint, Patapons reached Orc, the ancient weapon with Rage Wolf mounting it. At first he forgets a password, probably their short memory is a side effect of masks, but then he finally managed to control it. The fight isn't a big deal. After all, Orc is defeated and Rage Wolf escapes the dungeon. Now it's about Time to share community guesses of who Rage Wolf was before he put on the mask. The most popular idea that he was Makaton. Remember this guy who tried to revenge for his love Aeton from the army of Zigatons? His hatred hasn't been stopped. Somehow he was resurrected again and took the side of Archfiends. Also, if we consider that except for dispelling of Archfiends, some additional triggers are needed to recover memories or at least cause changing of behavior, it might be true. For example, when Naughty Fiends saw Uber Hero. Hero, she started to act off. Rotten Lee saw his broken technology, and Rage Wolf started to feel sympathy towards Naughty Fiends, which reflects his past relationships. One additional hint will be later in the game. Deeper in the labyrinths, Patapons face the fifth Archfiend of Restraint and crush him. We can only guess how it affects Glotino's Buzz Grave. After the fifth dungeon, we are looking at Dark Hideout at last. There, Naughty Fiends is chained to a dreadful machine, blaming Hero for leaving her, an unknown snake looking Dark Hero is panicking about Naughty Fiend's memory regeneration and asks for the help of Sonarchy. Turns out Sonarchy and Snake Dark Hero have some sort of relationships, like a son and a snake. Sonarchy calls him Papa. That's why Papa Dark Hero stops him and asks to call him Miss Covid His, saying that her gender is unglued. Well, Patapon series is ahead of its time. To put it shortly, Covid His is in charge of Dark Heroes, and she shares a common past with some of them. As I didn't forget about Naughty Fiends, Sonarchy tells that everything is under control, nothing to worry about. But there is a creature that really worries for Naughty Fiends, it's Silver Hashapon. He is looking for ways to save her. Patapons are marching off to the volcano zones, where Black Hashapon shows off, summoning demons again. Yeah, Black Hashapon is alive. Along with this evil star, our old and crazy, loaded and good friend is flying around his comrade, not believing that Black Hashapon is not an imposter. If all this time Golden Hashapon has been flying around and brainwashing Black Hashapon, I feel sorry for the black one. While Patapons were playing games with three stars, three because Silver Hashapon joined them, for fun. Buzz Grave and Rotten Lee are talking about their fate and destiny, which is okay for Buzz Grave to think about it, as he is a very poetic character, but for Rotten Lee it's very odd, question his future and past. Buzz Grave notes that and asks if everything is alright. The Raven says that he has just shed some baggage. During their philosophy lesson, they bump into a turtle. It appears that the turtle is seventh dark hero, slow moving slog turtle. Black Hoshapon managed to fly away, approaching four dark heroes near the evil mass of Atomans, offering his help to anybody who stands against Patapons, even those seven old school genes, meaning Archfiends. Now the gathering is completed. Seven scenes, seven Archfiends, seven Dark Heroes. As usual, before every dungeon, a new Dark Hero challenged Super Hero to prove his might on the arena. But this time, when other Dark Heroes have left the place, Rotten Lee calls Uber Hero Kami, which means God, meaning that he knows who Uber Hero had been before. This leads to the trigger, strong enough to cause a small memory recovery. Outside of the hideout, Uber Hero sees a dream of his death, when he had been petrified and restored, gaining new powers and the mask. But bad dreams don't stop Patel from being victorious. They won in the arena and beat the faces of demons in the evil mass of Adamans. On the last floor of the dungeon, Archfiend of Adamans succeeded to summon Detan Carmen, but anyway they lost, weakening slow-moving Slog Turtle. Outside of the dungeon, Uber Hero meets Naughty Fiends, who had escaped, and came to say goodbye. Remember I told you about a dialogue system in this game that might lead to a retrieval of a person from the past? So does the culmination of all dialogues. All this time Naughty Fiends was a prince? 
princess. But in my case, I failed to choose the right answers in the dialogues. So Uber Hero didn't remember the princess and Naughty Fins walked away in the unknown. But there are smart players out there who saved the princess, getting her out of her husk. Miss Covid his tries to stop them, but Uber Hero delivers a punch of love, dealing a lot of damage. Well, in my case, Rage Wolf came and shouted at me for my inability to save a lady. Well, you know, you could do it as well. But the sad point is that saving the princess gives nothing, only inner satisfaction. After the retrieval, Rotten Lee Gong challenges Uber Hero and Kami. He makes it clear that he is tired of these masks and granted powers. Now he is willing to fight till death on a dragon. That's uh, not fair. I'm more tired than you, you didn't have to fight through the dungeons. Give me a break, man. Anyway, after all, Gong has been beaten again. He is trying to mess up with Uber Hero, attacking him, saying that it's just a joke. Are you a f***ing comedian or a joker copycat? In the end, he says nothing special, except his happiness for recalling a part of Uber Hero's memories. Back in the hideout, Silver Hushapon suddenly remembers Rage Wolf. Once he was known by a different name, a warrior who swore to revenge for his love. The person he means, of course, is Makaton. That's the third reason why Rage Wolf is Makaton. After all, three identities are opened now. But who are the last four? Keep tuned, the end of the story is near. The four last dark heroes are teamed up to fight back Patapons. Miss Covid His is going to show her powers. The arena is going beyond belief incredible to fight alone. Luckily, I made the right decision in the dialogue with Lord Gong. Hence, our old friend Zigatons are coming to help us with brand new Ziggerzang version 2. Strangely though, Lord Gong sent them new blueprints to reinforce Ziggerzang. He also gave them an order to help Patapons, but he is found missing. Back in the dark hideout, Rage Wolf is demanding to know what Miss Covet His had done to Naughty Fins. Miss Covet His explains to him how they removed ancient bits of knowledge of deep past from Naughty Fins. But that's not it. There are knowledge that Rage Wolf restored his memory as well. And bad for Rage Wolf, they cannot leave him alive. She summons the rest of Dark Heroes to put an end to the Lonely Wolf. Well, that's not his first death. After beating four dark heroes on the arena, Patapons enter the last dungeon, Tomb of Tolerance, with the last Archfiend inside. But before that, Dark Hideout is shown to our side again. Sanarchy is lying on the ground, mocking Miss Covid His and showing that his head fell off. Miss Covid His is scared to death. Sonarchy takes a chance to explain it. Somehow he recalled everything from his past, realizing such a big mistake they were making. They tried to teach the world a lesson, but it turned out Archfiends used them instead. Sonarchy suggests to his Miss Papa Covid His to flee. But Miss Covid His isn't Papa anymore. She takes Sonarchy to another room to take a medicine to erase deep memories. The same medicine Naughty Fins was given. Grinding for four days, Patapons reached the top of Tomb of Tolerance to witness how Archfiends of Tolerance fused themselves to summon one mighty creature, Arch Pandara. Death looking an ugly motherfucker which has three forms a normal one, a chest one, and a giant one. It's a strong enemy, but the final bosses of previous games were stronger. The only powerful ability of his is that you need to finish all the levels of the dungeon to reach him. I applause to myself because who else? Because it took me so long to beat all circles of a real, pure hell. After death of the Arch Pandara, Miss Covid His gathers everybody in a machinery room to explain why she had started the hell on earth. Miss Covid His and her son Sonarchy are survivors of the ancient Au dynasty. They summoned the Arch Fiends to exact revenge upon the Patapons for annihilating their tribe. And the Bone Death Brigade are undead soldiers of the Au tribe. Buzz Grave and Slock Turtle were the generals of Au King. Isle, who now became Miss Covid His. So he summoned Arch Fiends to change his gender or revenge. Is that what it takes? Buzz Grave and Slug Turtle are standing in silence, showing no emotions, as they know these facts already. Once Sonarchy restored his memory, he helped to recall memories of his generals. In a rage of jealousy, Miss Covid His gets mad trying to kill Buzz Grave and Slug Turtle for not telling her that they know everything. They denied the desire of the king and made a stand against him. However, Sonarchy ordered them to escape the hideout and save their lives. He also asked his father to give up and bravely meet a redemption day. King Isle refused the offer and was knocked out by his son. After the free transition I have downloaded from the internet, Patapons one by one open their eyes, realizing they are near the earth end and go towards it. 
Uber Hero is woken up by magical light giving him a choice. He will be revived and will continue to fight. He will die in peace at last. He will offer his soul and save petrified Patapons. As you see, Patapon 3 has three endings, and I'm going to show you all of them. If Uber Hero chooses to be revived, there will be a new game mode that allows you to play for dark heroes from the dark hideout and using broken Mecha Hashapon as a market instead of Midan. It's considered a bad ending. If Uber Hero chooses to die in peace, it will open a new depth of Tomb of Tolerance, summoning a new Arch Demon. However, you can beat the demon with your Uber Hero playing online, so basically he doesn't die, is considered a neutral ending. If he offers his soul in exchange for his people, a silver star will fall from the sky, reviving all the Patapons and Midan from the stone curse. It's considered a good ending, but that's not the end. In every case, there is the next part where four brave Patapons fall out from the portal. They start to panic, but Silver Hashapon calms them down, telling that their journey may be ended. Nevertheless, there always will be evil. However, if there is evil, there will be hope. So no need to worry. Hatapon asks where the earth end is, and Silver Hashapon tells them. It's right behind the end of the screen. Silver Hashapon is slowly fading away, telling his mission is finished, and blinds four Patapons. When they open their eyes, they find themselves in a terrific, living forest where they can finally embrace eternal contentment. If you have chosen a good engine, you will see an extra scene. After the long sleep, Midan surprisingly finds tons of money in her pockets and has nothing to do with it. And still, she is eager to find the Earth End while Silver Hashapon is begging for mercy. You can continue to play and beat all the secret bosses, but this time all the Patapons are dancing around the fire with Midan altogether, as it used to be. And it's finally done, I need a drink. All the three parts are finished, thanks that you are still with me. If you liked my videos, give me a like and write a comment on what is your favorite part and why. And now after Patapons I need a rest. See you in the next video, where I will explain the story of suffering the first part. Subscribe if you are willing to see it. And bye bye.